Hi everyone, another Amex offer came through and it is for Italy. So Italy is a premium Italian grocery store and they have tons and tons of delicious stands that sell pasta, pizza, uh, cured meats, cheeses, everything you can think of when you think of Italy, they sell it there and they've come up with this package and it comes with so much food and it's only 75 bucks with this Amex offer. And I looked up each individual dish and when you add it all up together, it's 150 bucks. So we're getting it for half off. This is an exciting meal at such a fantastic place. Uh, let's head on over and get that meal. First salad we got has some arugula, has lettuce, has radish, some macadamia nuts, and uh, some parmesans, like slices of parmesan cheese. And it looks really good, it smells very fragrant. Like they also gave us a uh, vinaigrette. So I think it was like olive oil, some salt and pepper. This looks so good. Mm, nice and fresh and you hear the crunch from the vegetables the vinaigrette's really tasty too adds like a smooth texture to it and you got some of that salt and pepper adding flavor mm. Mm. nice crunch from that macadamia the macadamia nuts add some nice texture and flavor to it like a little bit of nuttiness it's really really nice the vinaigrette is really nice adds so much flavor and this salad is really good. The next salad has some baby arugula, some cherry tomatoes, and um, some Parmesan cheese, Parmesan slices again. It has a very similar dressing. I think it was also olive oil with salt and pepper. Um, let's give this one a try. Mm. I love that saltiness that comes out from the cheese. Really tops off the entire salad really nicely. And got like healthy, hearty arugula with it. And cherry tomato. Mmm. Pop of flavor from those cherry tomatoes. Really nice. Add some like sweetness from the tomato. Once you pop it, it's just like so much flavor comes out. If you ask me which one I would prefer, I honestly like this one with the cherry tomatoes. I think. It's a little more simple than the other one, but the flavors mixed all together work really nicely, like in harmony. It's just like a symphony playing at the orchestra. Everything's like all the flavors are just popping off right at the right time and they all mix well, so well together. So onto the mains, we got this delicious, delicious pasta. It has a tomato base sauce and then you got tons of seafood. So you got shrimp, you got, uh, you got some, I think this is salmon. You got some salmon right here. You got mussels. Um, oh, you have a little bit of squid. Just found some squid in here too. Um, it smells very flavorful. Uh, you can really smell those tomatoes coming out of it. First bite. Mmm. I really like that flavor. Um, you get the brightness from the tomatoes. And I think they might have used a bit of wine, like sweetness from a white wine or something to like cook uh, cook some of the seafood, cook the pasta in or the sauce as well. You get some of that, a different type of sweetness, not just from tomatoes, but you got a little bit of that extra sweetness from, I think it's a white wine, but it's really nice flavor. It just comes off right at the right at the end there uh, like almost like an aftertaste so salmon I think that's salmon yeah try out the salmon mmm it's so nice and soft the texture is really nice and it has good flavor like it's really nice soft piece of, uh, of salmon there here's a nice piece of squid Mmm, nice and chewy. 
soaked up all the flavor from those tomatoes. Flavor is really nice and really pops. We got some shrimp. Cook really well, not that, not like overcooked. So if you're overcooked, it's gonna taste like rubber, nice and chewy. And honestly, they've done a very good job with this pasta. So one thing I think you can really tell when you're eating this is that they use real tomatoes in it. So you have like the skin, you see some seeds in there. So they're not just using like some tomato paste or like buying some of that, like, you know, that the canned pasta sauces, those have like none of that in it. Cause it's just like, it's all just been processed out. This one, you can tell they've actually used those type of ingredients. It's fresh, um, it's light and it's refreshing. It's very tasty pasta. This next one is an angolati. It looks like it mixed in with a pesto and it's it has some of these uh little bits of asparagus i think if you remember my i think like second video at richmond station also has some angle naughty let's compare the two and see which one is actually better mm. it's really nice and cheesy but i think this has goat cheese in it and like i do like goat cheese but in this i don't think it works as well I don't know what they put in the Angolati at Richmond Station. That one was really bomb. I honestly prefer that one over this one. I think that one's way better. But at the same time, this is this has great flavors as well. And if you like goat cheese, this might be the one for you. This is still a really good pasta and it's worth ordering again. The pasta is cooked. The, the outside layer is very nice and soft. I think they actually put some shaved Parmesan on top too, and it's been melted in there. So you get a little bit of that saltiness on top. And then the base of that pesto sauce is nice and like the olive oil is really fragrant and the herbs add like a really nice flavor to it. Accompanying the main is these fried ball and like, it looks like fried toast. I have no idea what these are. I'm gonna bite into each one and show you what's inside. Ooh. First one. Mm. What is that? There's some herbs. I think it's potato. And it almost tastes like a hash brown almost, but like an elevated hash brown. And it has a little bit more like savory textures to it. This one looked very similar, so I'm assuming it's the same, but we'll bite into it and find out. Yup, exactly the same. Really delicious though. I really like the flavors coming out of there. Inside are nice and soft, but the outside is really, really crunchy. This one honestly looks like a meatball, a fried meatball. It looks very interesting. Mmm. What is that? What is Look at this. What is that? It's like tomatoes inside, like tomato based flavors inside. They have a tomato sauce. And I think this is what I scooped up from the insides. It's almost like, I think it's almost, I think it might be rice inside there. Either rice or like shavings of potato. I can't really tell what which one it is. Or maybe it's a, a form of pasta. But something within that realm, stuffed inside with herbs, a tomato sauce and then like they fried it inside this ball i have no idea how they did it but hey it's really delicious lastly we got this square and to me it automatically looks like french toast but i doubt it's french toast um uh, let's let's find out mm. it's like a it has some like peas in there um, and I think it's potato. Like now that I'm, like I'm looking at this, it has to be potato, right? It has to be. It, it tastes like there's strands of potato. Um, it's been seasoned. Maybe there's some cheese in there as well. And then they put some peas. Like look at that. These are all like really good. 
I like how the crust is so nice and crunchy. Really nice crunch on the outside, and the inside is nice and soft, and it has it's packed with flavors. This is really surprising to me, and so far, I, I don't know, man. This this is like the one thing that's actually like got shock on my face. Like I, I look shocked. I feel like on camera, we have this giant pork chop. Um, there's a lemon there, some uh, sea salt. Looks like some coarse salt, but it's already it's already been salted. It looks like there's pepper on it too, but this thing's massive. It's like the size of my hand. If you can see that, it's the size of my hand. <laughs> you know what? For this one, I'm just gonna use my hands. Mm. Such a nice crunch on the outside. Slightly juicy on the inside. Could be more juicy though. Might be a little more cooked, but like that's hard to do with a pork chop, especially when you're frying it. But there's some really nice flavors coming out. You really taste that pork. Um, the salt and pepper obviously adds that flavor to it. The juices are flowing out of that pork chop. Are really flavorful. It's packed with flavor. I think like this is like a giant schnitzel with the bone still in, tastes great. Um, it's a nice accompaniment to the pastas and you have some meat with it on the side. For dessert, we have this delicious tiramisu. It looks great. It smells amazing. You get all of that like coffee, the coffee smell coming out of it. And it looks super creamy. Ooh, you get like a whiff of that coffee. It reminds me of like the fragrance of like a coffee crisp or nicely fresh brewed coffee in the morning. Mmm. That's so good. It's so, so creamy. It's rich. It's sweet. So the base of this is like those lady fingers and it's nice and soft. Um, it's not like hard and stale like you might find with like some type of breads like that. And then you got such a creamy filling inside and the topping of all of that uh, coffee, coffee flavor powder on top. It is really good. I really like this tiramisu and I really think you should try it for yourself. Overall, what did I think of the entire meal? Well, first off, Italy is such a cool, like cool spot because you can have so, you can get so many different things. And if you're looking for Italian food, or an Italian market to like get your groceries. This is like the place to go. They have just about anything you want to find and you'll find things here that you will not find in any other supermarket. But let's go on to the food. The salads were really great. I liked the sauces that they gave us and the add of the, the Parmesan on top of both of those salads with the arugula, all the flavors mixed in together were very, like they mixed in very well. Then we got the pastas, both of the pastas were pretty good. Although I would say that they aren't the best pastas I've had. So if you want a better, a better Angolati, you go to Richmond Station. I think if you want another seafood pasta, Taroni is a great spot where you can get one that I would say is like better quality. Then you got the pork chop, which was nice and flavorful. Although I think it could have been a little more juicy. Um, it was a little on the drier side. It did have that flavor, I would say. It did have flavor, but I feel like it could have been juicier. Those like fried rice balls, those were actually really good. They surprised me a lot. I haven't had many opportunities to actually eat that. So this being one of those times, I felt like that was really, really great. And like people should really come here and try it out for themselves. Maybe I'm wrong and there's some place doing it really well and like much better, but I don't know any. So if you know, leave it in the comments down below. That tiramisu was also fantastic. I would eat that tiramisu any day. It rivals some of the best tiramisu in Toronto, I would say. Um, there's not a lot of places that do it really well. And this is actually pretty good for one that you can get out of a grocery store. It's like pre-packaged. It's really great flavors. So overall, I would say I would 100% recommend people try this out. Um, Italy is a fantastic place to 
go and visit just to do your shopping and also to get a, a quick bite. So the meal we got since it was seven, like only 75 bucks instead of the 150, like 100%, that's the deal of a lifetime. But if you have to pay the full 150, um, it is a ton of food. We didn't finish it, you're gonna have it for leftovers. So I would say, yeah, I will get some of these items, but not as much as they actually gave us. But overall, highly recommend people check it out. Italy's all over the world. They have places in New York and London. Um, they're everywhere. So they're obviously doing a great job at, what, uh, at like giving their product offering. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below of what you like the most. Leave a like on the video. And don't forget to subscribe for lots more food to come. Peace.